Hi, my name is Mark Keen. I'm here to show you our new GW25 wheel. Um, just to give you a quick overview, what it comes with is you have the wheel, the spray bar manifold, the spray bar, this is your rear leg assembly, a pan, a cup that attaches to the back of the bowl. This is where the gold gets captured. And you've got a couple power cords. This is your power cord here, which plugs into your 12 volt source. This is your water pump here. This is a nylon bag that the pump slides inside the bucket. And here's an additional small spray bar assembly. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do some quick assembly on it. The first thing you do is you pull out your two legs. So you got two legs. They actually collapse completely inside the unit. Then I'm going to take the wheel and I'm going to flip it over. And next, this is uh, the rear leg assembly. You'll notice it has a little short nub here and a long nub here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, slide it in all the way to one side, push it down just a little bit, and then just tap it over. So now it's in the proper position. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take our little leg support system here. I put the wing bolts in. Okay, now I'm going to set it up. You've got, this is your power source for your water pump. You've got your power source for the main unit. And I don't know if you can see this in the camera, but underneath this, well, I'll show you that to you later, but there's a fuse located there. And basically, this is water pump on and off. And this puts the wheel forward and reverse. And this here is your pulse modulation speed control. Actually, it's really a nice feature having that speed control. It's one of the key elements in getting that really good fine tuning on the wheel. Now when you're setting it up, you have to remember every different type of material that you get into is really going to require um, a different angle, a different water flow, a different speed. In particular wheel, it's not nearly as critical as some of the other wheels I've seen on the market because of the, the rubber riffle design. I'll get into that in a, in a little bit. So the next step, I'm going to basically take the spray manifold and I'm just going to slide it in through here. Yeah, and you can adjust your spray bar in and out by doing this a little bit too. I like it a little closer. That's about right there. Okay. Now these tubes here, these are part of the, uh, that helps keep the, the material from building up in this bottom crack in here. and helps clean, keep the little things clear. And these just slide on. Usually just a friction lock is all it takes. <laughs> it's my crazy wife. <laughs> the next step is, is the little tube in the back, I'm going to insert this. It's just a screw-in fitting. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the water recirculation system. Now when you put the wheel together, you need to provide your own buckets. We don't provide the buckets because simply they would be uh, too expensive to ship. What you do first is you take your uh, your little sack here, your filter bag, and you place it in the very bottom of the bucket. Now what I've done is I've actually drilled a couple, looks like probably about three quarter inch holes in the side of the bucket. This allows you to set your your cord, I mean your hose, directly on, this is your spray manifold, onto the back of the spray manifold. 100 mesh screen here, and that acts like a double filtering system. And we center the pan pretty much in the very center of the 100 mesh screen. And that's so that uh, the water will overflow and you can always run this material a second time if you want. Now this here is a kind of an accessory hose. You don't necessarily have to use it, but if you want to wash out your buckets or your pans or whatever, it's nice to have this. So what you do with this hose is you attach it again to the spray manifold. And the 12 volt power source 
I plug that also in the back of the wheel, and I'll cover both of those things later. Now, I think that's pretty much it for the basic setup. Now, add some water to the bucket. So, I'll remove the pan here. Now, I'll just pour some water through the screen. So, I've already got my 12 volt power source hooked up. So, I'm going to start by turning on the water pump. I'm kind of looking at the wheel right now, trying to determine what kind of angle. Maybe just a little flatter, so I'm going to... I just basically moved that uh, little bracket with the two cables in the back. I just brought it up about a half inch and it dropped the wheel back a little bit, so that worked out good. All right, let's turn the wheel on. And you can tell if you have it going correctly, see how my finger goes up the center of the wheel. Set up an operation. This little valve here, this is just a twist valve, it's kind of cool. Use that to wash things down with. This kind of gives you a close up of the wheel, what it looks like. You can see the spray bar system, or the spray bar right there. And you can see. This is your flow control valve here for the water flow. And it's a pretty simple plumbing system. We have one hose that goes from the manifold directly to the pump. And then we have one that goes from the manifold directly to the little blaster sprayer here. The controls in the back. You've got your water pump right here and you've got your forward and reverse here this is your 12 volt power this is your 12 volt power going into your uh, water pump and this is your speed control here you can hear that going up and down i'm sure and this little catch vial here this is where all your gold and maybe a little bit of black sand drops into going on a wheel and it's true with any wheel or any kind of recovery device is you want to pre-classify your material. That's about a medium speed on the wheel. I could go faster, I could go a little slower, but I'm trying to get used to the material with this type, this particular type of material. Now this has not been washed or anything, it's gonna be kind of dirty. When you feed the wheel, you always want to feed it up here. Now in reality, I would much prefer to have the material um, pre-wetted first, in other words, have some water in the bucket and possibly even a little uh, wetting agent, gold drop, jet dry, some kind of a non-sudging detergent. But the one thing I do like about the wheel is that it does give you a very clean product. I'm watching the black sand climb up, about up to about the third riffle, even a couple pieces maybe going in. But I am seeing some black sand and, and a little bit of black sand and gold deposit. Oh, there's a nice little chunk there. See, right under the spray bar. That gives you the material a nice chance to get caught in the ribs. I still don't have it quite adjusted right. I'm watching how the material works. It looks to me that I'm seeing the black sands building up in the bottom ribs. So, it, but it looks like I have a little bit too much water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my water flow down just a little bit. Okay, I'm actually seeing the black sand climb a little higher. So let's see how it works. Now, in reality, I would much prefer to have the material um, pre-wetted first. In other words, have some water in the bucket and possibly even a little uh, wetting agent, gold drop, jet dry, some kind of a non-sudging detergent. 